Tony Wolfrey is one of the protesters cheering as busload after busload of workers leave the dam site. Wolfrey says people downstream in his Inuit community of Rigolette will be hit hard if fish and other wildlife are poisoned with methyl mercury, a naturally occurring but toxic substance. We live off uh, seals, fish, and birds, and you know ducks and geese. I mean, it's our main diet. That if we didn't have that, we we, we probably would starve. The protesters fear plans to flood a reservoir behind the hydroelectric dam will dramatically elevate levels of the toxin in the waters downstream. Methylmercury is released as organic matter decomposes underwater. Right now, developers are only promising to remove some vegetation before the flooding takes place. The stream runs down and the lake goes down and it goes out by our community and everything that's going down the lake is going to be ending up down that way, right? So we're going to be affected by the methylmercury the most out of, out of all of Labrador. Protesters outside the work site braved rain and bitter wind today. Yesterday, more than 40 protesters broke into the site. Dozens are still occupying it. We're not backing down. We're going to go fight this right to the very end, no matter what. We're staying here. We're Labrador strong. We're not moving. The people inside is not moving until something is settled by Muskrat Wright. Right now, Premier Dwight Ball says no flooding will take place until after Tuesday. That's when the province is scheduled to meet with Indigenous leaders. Protesters say they won't budge unless the province commits to removing all soil and vegetation from the flood zone. Mark Quinn, CBC News, Happy Valley Goose Bay, Labrador.